Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and um, we are continuing on with AP Physics uh, Kinematics free response questions. So um, what I would kind of recommend is you kind of maybe pause the video and look at the question because they don't have like um, these files up anywhere or these old AP questions. So you can kind of look at it and see if you can kind of do it, but um, I'll kind of walk through them. You know, give you some. It's, it's a good practice, and you can see how how I would walk through them. So the first meters of a hundred meter dash are covered in two seconds by a sprinter who starts from rest and accelerates with constant acceleration. The remaining ninety meters are run with the same velocity the sprinter had after two seconds. Determine the sprinter's constant acceleration in the first two seconds. Um, first meters. I think this is supposed to be first 10 meters. So first 10 meters are two seconds. So he covers 10 meters in two s the fir in first two seconds. So what I know is I know delta x is two meters. I'm trying to find a is what I want to solve for. And I don't know the volition, but and I know time is two seconds. So um, I'm going to use this equation. Uh, v naught t plus one half a t squared. Okay, since he did, he starts with, at rest. That part is zero, so delta x equals one half a t squared, or a is equal to um, t squared over two delta x. Just sort of rearranging this. T squared is two seconds squared divided by two times delta x. Delta x was two meters. So that's 4 over 4, oh wait, uh, no, I, I have this inverted, I don't know what I'm thinking, I was just checking the units, ha <laughs> ha okay, let's redo this, a is 2 delta x over t squared, that's 2 times 2 meters over 2 seconds squared, that's 4, 4, that's equal to 1 meters per second squared, okay, so that's part a. Part B, determine the splinter's velocity after the two seconds have elapsed. So his final velocity is equal to his initial velocity from acceleration times time. Now that I have acceleration and the time, uh, and I know his initial velocity is zero, it's just one meters per second squared times two seconds. So his velocity there is two meters per second. Okay, C, determine the total time needed to run the full 100 meters. Um, okay, so he takes two seconds to travel that first 10 meters, then the 90, re remaining 90 meters um, he does in, at 2 meters per second. And that takes 45 seconds. All right, to travel 90 meters at 2 meters per second takes 45 seconds, plus the initial 2 seconds, so it's 47 seconds. Okay, 47 seconds. D, on the axis provided below, draw the displacement versus time. So um, he goes, let's see, his initial displacement, let's see, he travels, oh, it's not two meters. I don't know why that is, 10 meters. These numbers are looking really weird. This is 10 meters. So that's 20 divided by four. 20 divided by four is five meters per second. Delta X isn't two meters, it's 10 meters. I even said it was 10 meters. Uh, 5 times 2, that's 10 meters per second. 90 divided by 10 is 9 seconds. I was going to say this hundred. This guy's really slow. Uh, so he does 9 seconds there, and it's 2 seconds, so 11 seconds is his total time. Uh, that is way, way better. Okay, so... Um, The total time needed to run the full 100 meters, 11 seconds. Okay, so the first two seconds, he travels 10 meters. So I know he goes up to there. And he kind of is accelerating constantly, so it's kind of like this. It's like a quadratic, his position. But, um, okay, but let's not, you know, so I'll, um, I'll, I'll work with that in a second. Over the next um, 100 meters, it goes it takes him to 11 seconds right and he's going up at five meters per second so this is so every two seconds now he's going at 10 meter 
sorry, 10 meters per second. So every second goes up 10 meters. So 10 meters, one second. It's like this line right here. Does that make sense? It goes up like that. So I'll draw that line. And then from there to there, oops, it's kind of like a, a yeah, constant acceleration, kind of like that. Okay, all right, and that's it. So hope you guys found that helpful. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.